Hey guys, so a handful of years ago, we did a video on realistic crayfish imitating baits and what they look like next to live crayfish. And we came down to the exact same spot that we shot that video at today. And we noticed that this little river pool is loaded with bluegill this time. So we're gonna shoot the exact same video today, but with bluegill imitating baits. And so I'm gonna open this guy up and we're gonna run through a dozen bluegill imitating baits, some more realistic than others, but just like with crayfish or any bait for that matter, sometimes the odd one stands out and that's the one that'll get you more bites. So we're gonna open this guy up and run these lures by live bluegills and see what they look like. All right, so we got all different shapes and sizes. Uh, we got wake baits, we got paddle tail swim baits, crank baits, lipless baits, but uh, we're gonna start off with Mr. Tried and True spinner bait. Obviously has been known as a great bluegill brim imitating bait for years. And the reason for it is because of the flash. You can put any type of skirt on this. Um, you can make it look like shad, but obviously this one looks like a little bluegill. Obviously you look at this thing and it's not a 3D model of a bluegill by any means, but under the water, it definitely gives off a lot of vibration, a lot of flash, and looks like a little bluegill trying to skirt away from a predator. All right, so moving on to the next one, we have a little baby bull shad. Now look at that little guy. It's obviously just a jointed swim bait, a lot of movement in the water, and super small. They make a bunch of different sizes of these. This is the smallest one that they make. Uh, and you can see it rolling right through these schools of bluegills, and that's a very good imitation of a bluegill. All right, so up next we got a little Storm Largo Shad. This is just paired on a little hybrid head. And this is actually printed onto the side of this body. As you can see, that's about as realistic as it gets. You can slow this down, hop it on bottom, reel it through the middle of the water column, reel it on the bottom, hitting rocks. So you can do a lot with this bait and imitate bluegills in any scenario, no matter what those bluegills are doing. All right, so moving on into the big boys. This is a jointed swim bait from Jackal. And this thing is pretty darn cool in the water. And obviously a much bigger profile than some of those other baits that we've shown so far. Obviously got feathered trebles on it, gives the bait a much bigger profile in the water. And again, with this jointed style of bait, uh, that tail is kicking back and forth. Similar to a glide bait, you're also able to kind of work this bait side to side, give a real darting action to kind of mimic a dying bluegill uh, in some instances. All right, and while we're on the topic of big baits this is a mega bass battalion and obviously that is big this is a super realistic bluegill bait just between color scheme and paint on this guy so not that this bait won't catch a two pounder but this is kind of your big fish bait this is a bait that you toss around kind of lay downs sunken trees and kind of call out some of the biggest fish in the system with this guy Again, a very unique action. You're able to slow this guy down and work it side to side rather than just a straight reel. You obviously can straight reel it straight through the school of bluegills, but you can also slow this thing down, especially when there's a fish following it. You can kind of entice him into biting without this bait really jerking too far away from the fish. All right, while we're on the topic of big bluegill imitators, this is a soft bodied swim bait from Coalition. And this is actually a belly weighted system with a big boot tail on the back. I'll pull this guy out. And this is a, obviously a massive hook, but this guy just kind of tucks up inside the belly and then comes out the top. And again, super, super good bluegill imitating bait. This guy, you just straight reel. And with that wide boot tail on it, it has a ton of action in the water. This guy kicks side to side 
uh, pretty viciously and moves a ton of water. A lot of times with those bigger uh, hard jointed baits, there's a lot of clanking and noise going on, where with a softer body, it's pretty silent in the water. On to the next, we have this Savage Gear Bluegill, and this guy's pretty sweet. This, again, is a soft body swim bait, but it's jointed. And so this guy, like those hard body jointed baits, this guy kicks side to side the entire body of it does because of that jointed body. Stinger hook up top, stinger hook in the bottom, and these guys come out and go back in really easy. And so that helps a lot with leverage. Um, when these hooks come out, the fish can't throw the bait as easy. Rolling it through all these bluegills, you can see that this guy looks exactly like those fish. All right, now the next one has been kind of a hot commodity around the fishing industry as of late. Uh, and this is the Gilly from Berkeley. And I'm gonna open this guy up. This is a pretty cool little bait. As you can see, really limber back half to this bait. It allows that thing to have the ultimate action side to side. There's a couple of different ways that you can rig this guy, uh, but we just rigged it weightless today on EWG hook. And you actually rig the hook out the side of the bait where with most bluegill baits you're going to rig it belly weighted so really really cool bait as you can see with this thing next to live bluegills really really good bluegill imitator and now we're kind of similar to that spinner bait style doesn't look exactly like a bluegill but it's been a fish catcher for multiple years and that is the chatterbait this is a big blade uh, so this gives a little bit more vibration in the water than your traditional uh, bladed jig. And this is a brim colored razor shad on the back. But this guy imitates a bluegill really, really well. Having spent countless hours fishing a bladed jig, I can tell you that casting this thing around bluegills definitely triggers bass bites. And so as you guys can see in the underwaters, it doesn't look exactly like a bluegill down there but it does have a ton of vibration and moves a lot of water and it looks just a little bit different and sometimes that can trigger more bites so obviously chatterbait bladed jig catches bass around bluegills there's no doubt about it all right similar to a bladed jig is a swim jig uh, this is just a terminator swim jig with a little 13 churro on the back but you can really mix and match this however you want. A lot of guys will put cross style trailers on the back and uh, rig it vertically to give a little bit taller presentation. Or you can go with a swim bait style like this. But you can do a lot with this guy. Obviously you can straight reel it through the middle of the water column or higher up in the water column. Or you can kind of hop it along the bottom up and down. Similar to a bladed jig spinner bait. Doesn't look exactly like a bluegill, but definitely catches bass around areas with tons of brim and bluegill. Definitely check this guy out. It's a fish catcher for sure. I always have one on the deck. All right, so keeping in lines of, you know, proven fish catchers is a crankbait. Obviously crankbaits come in a ton of different shapes and sizes, colors. Uh, they'll imitate pretty much anything that a bass eats. But this guy is a gorgeous bluegill imitator as well. Um, and so as you can see, this guy ripping across the rocks is a perfect, perfect bluegill imitator. And especially in this shallow environment with a bunch of rock, when this bill hits the bottom, it's deflecting and making a bunch of different er erratic motions. And that can kind of represent a darting bluegill. But you can also fish this through the middle of the water column in open water, along grass edges. You can really do a whole lot with a crankbait. Once again, a bait that's been catching fish for years on end, north, south, east, west, doesn't really matter where you're at. You can definitely imitate a bluegill with a crankbait. There's no doubt about it. Another great fish catcher is your traditional lipless crankbait. Really, really good paint scheme on this guy. Uh, kind of a translucent body on it. This guy is really loud. And so you can kind of, you can straight reel this or like we showed in the underwaters, 
you're just kind of yo-yoing this, popping it up off the bottom. So again, not a 3D model of a bluegill by any means, but this guy is a proven fish catcher because you can fish it so many different ways. You can fish it deep, shallow, work it several different ways, but whenever there's bluegills around, this is a guy that is definitely worth picking up and throwing. That kind of wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching these bluegill imitating baits next to the real thing. Um, if there's any that we missed, drop a comment down below. We'd be more than happy to come back to this very spot uh, and run any more baits that you guys want to see next to the real thing. So hope you guys enjoyed.